So the incredibly popular PS4 and PS5 remote play app Chiaki has just had a massive update to version 2.2, the first big update in over two years. And even with the huge announcement just yesterday of the upcoming PlayStation Portal Remote Play handheld, a whopping 71% of you great viewers on today's community poll will not be buying this as you're happy using Chiaki or the official PS Remote Play app. Early indications do show that yes, this brand new 2.2 version is much improved and does indeed fix issues that quite a few of us found on the old 2.1.1 version, such as graphical and audio glitches. So let's quickly go through the seven steps to get this set up and then test it out to see if it is actually better and more stable than the previous 2.1.1 version. And I'll show you how to map the PS and touchpad buttons to Jackie on the Ally, which many of you great viewers requested. So let's dive straight in and I've deleted the old Chiaki 2.1.1 version to make sure there's no potential conflicts. So step one is to download the very latest version of Chiaki, which is this brand new 2.2 release just days ago. The link is in the description. Make sure your Ally and PS5 are on the same Wi-Fi network. This is important. Next, for step two, we need to go to the Downloads folder, click on the zip file, click Extract to, select where you'd like to install it, which in my case is the C drive, and click New Folder, which automatically creates the folder name. Click OK. And then when we head back into this newly created folder, all of the correct Chiaki 2.2 files are now safely in here. Click on the Chiaki application file and then click allow access in the pop-up message. Now, if you follow the old 2.1.1 version of Chiaki tutorial right here on the channel, you shouldn't need to redo the flip screen games register parts as this new 2.2 update found my PS5 console within Chiaki immediately. So if this is your first time installing Chiaki on your Ally or Steam Deck, follow those steps in that tutorial to link your handheld to your PS4 or PS5 console. Link in the description. For step three, let's double check the correct settings are in place. Let's minimize the screen, Click on the cog icon on the top right and you'll see that Chaki has remembered our settings if like me you updated from the old 2.1.1 version of Chiaki. I'm going to tick this new box which extends DualSense support for attached controllers. Make sure 1080p resolution is selected, FPS is 60 and the audio buffer size is set to 4. If for some reason that you do still experience any audio issues, then try experimenting with this 4000 value. For example, 17200 seems to be a popular value that Chiaki users recommend too. By the way, make sure you're subscribed and turn notifications on so you don't miss any of these crucial updates to the ally that we cover right here on the channel. And if you've learned something from this video, then be sure to slap that like button. You guys rock. The rock, the man, and you looking like a broke ass Burger King on crack. For step four, let's fix the audio. As you may have noticed, there is quite a bit of audio crackling. So let's close Chiaki, then go to the audio folder inside where we unzipped Chiaki and delete the file named QT audio underscore windows dot dll. For step five, we'll add Chiaki to Armory Crate. So let's open up Armory Crate, click add at the top right and press the LB button on the Ally to open up the file explorer. Go to the location where our new Chiaki folder is 
and here we will double click the checkit.exe file and press done. For step six, let's map the PS and touchpad buttons. In the checky settings, we can see that the app recognizes ESC as the PS button and T as the PS4 or PS5 touchpad button. So let's go to Armory Crate, Settings, then Configure in the Control Mode section, press Configure in the Gamepad mode. In Key Mapping, you can map these to any buttons, but for me, I'll pick the rear M1 button, press Primary button, Keyboard Tab, then S to map the PS button. Now press M2 button, click primary button, keyboard, and press T to map the touchpad button, and these are now mapped correctly. So in a game like Last of Us Part 2 right here, which is my personal favorite game ever, the M1 at the back brings up the PS button, and the M2 button on the left brings up the touchpad button which in this game is the weapon inventory. For the final step seven, head back into Chiaki and get to full screen mode by just double tapping the screen. If you ever want to go back into window mode, just double tap the screen and again to go back to full screen mode. You are now fully set up on the brand new 2.2 updated Chiaki version. Yeah. So let's do a quick test to see if we notice any graphical or audio glitches. Yes, Ellie, it does look promising. And from my early testing, to me, it seems massively more stable than the old 2.1.1. And I'd love to hear if you've noticed any improvements and what they are in this brand new 2.2 update of Chiaki. So let us know in the comments. And as a little extra bonus for watching right to the end of the video, I'd love to share this awesome quote. One day you'll wake up and there won't be any more time to do the things you've always wanted. So do it now. Life is short, so let's make sure we're quick to forgive and to also take advantage of all opportunities. Stay encouraged today, guys. And check this video out if you want to see how the Ally compares in five key areas to the PlayStation Portal announced yesterday. I appreciate every single one of you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.